Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Ethos Pro Diagnostic Tool and covers the vehicle identification process and code operations. The first step in diagnosing any vehicle is to select the vehicle ID. Your starting point to ID a vehicle is via the scanner icon on the home page. The vehicle ID must be entered into the scan tool so test data displays correctly and to ensure communication with the vehicle's electronic control module, or ECM. Follow the screen prompts. Each selection advances to the next screen. The exact sequence varies by the vehicle make, model, and year. Select the vehicle make from the menu. If necessary, use the scroll bar on the right to page down for more choices. In this case, we will select Chevrolet. Select the model year. Select manual ID. Select the model and configuration. Some models have more than one configuration. For example, Avalanche four-wheel drive and Avalanche rear-wheel drive. Select engine size. You can select the engine displacement or use the vehicle identification number from the vehicle. The VIN position for the engine is shown at the top of the screen and the choices are listed on the menu alongside the selections. If the vehicle ID is correct, select OK or cancel to re-enter any information. Some vehicles send vehicle ID data through the OBD connector and can identify automatically. Let's save time and simplify the ID process by letting a 2013 MINI auto ID itself. Select MINI from the Vehicle Selection page. And select U.S. Vehicles. Select the year 2013. Select Auto ID and the tool displays the configuration and engine and completes the ID process. After completing the vehicle ID, select the desired system to diagnose. Don't forget to scroll down for more that may not be displayed on the first screen. Use the scroll bar at the right. Let's diagnose the engine system. Navigation for all other systems is similar. When the check engine light is illuminated, the first thing we should do is check for codes. This will be the starting point on our diagnostic roadmap. Select the Codes menu to access diagnostic trouble codes from the Vehicle Control Module. Our first step is to display codes. This opens a list of diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, stored in the ECM. Select All Powertrain Codes. And a list of diagnostic trouble codes appears along with the code description. And there you have it. Don't forget to scroll down to see more codes. The Clear Codes function erases the DTCs stored in the selected ECU. Follow the on-screen instructions. The tool prompts, are you sure? Select Yes to clear the codes. Here we can see the codes cleared successfully. If not, simply follow the on-screen instructions. Freeze frame displays the data and current conditions when the ECM commanded the malfunction indicator lamp, or MIL, to turn on. Here's our freeze frame data. This can be helpful to determine conditions when the codes set. Hot, cold, fast, slow. Great clues can be found here. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.